Hi, uh, it's nice to uh, be able to talk to you and thank you for your prayers. I've been in uh, Shinyarasu now for three months and it's really been a time of uh, getting to know people and to try, well, trying to get to know people and that's been hard, it's been uh, discouraging in some ways um, and it's with little pockets of hope that I can actually get to know people. Uh, we've actually got a place to meet which is very exciting for us uh, because for a while we were wondering if we could actually find a place to meet. It's in a, an apartment of a complex that I live in the same complex and so that's uh, it's about two minutes to church to get to church which is great uh, but of course we can't advertise but people can hear us on Sundays especially as we sing and uh, as we have church and so we're really uh, looking forward to see how God works in this place but of course it's very early days yet and we're trying to do things like uh, make set up activities like mums and kids groups and uh, other things that we can invite people to do to and then uh, to um, invite them to do Bible studies. So one of the things that we've set up is a thing called Safe Harbour. And Safe Harbour is not a, a church outreach. It was actually set up as a, uh, with some non-Christians, it's a monthly cooking class. And different women come and all we do is cook and then eat and then talk. And we're able to invite people uh, to come along uh, to things after that. Everyone invites people after to come along with things that they're involved in, and we are able to as well. And so at Easter, we had a children's outreach. We invited uh, children to come, and a lot of children came. And we mm. had 30 children came, which was fantastic. And uh, some of them have come to Sunday school. And as a result of that, one little boy who was coming to Sunday school, he went home and after the Easter thing, he, he said to his mother, he asked his mother what resurrection was all about, and of course she couldn't uh, answer. And so she's actually going to start a Bible study uh, with me next week with another woman too, two non-Christian women. And so uh, we're excited. That's what we want to see happen. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're hoping as that happens, they get to know who Jesus is and people will start coming to church. And that's sort of the pattern that we're expecting. We get to know people invite them to something that's linked to church. We invite them to Bible study and then we are, uh, and hopefully they can come to church. It tends to be the pattern. So please pray for that, uh, for all of those steps. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think for me, it's very, the reality is very clear that unless CMS was willing to send me here, it would not, just would not be possible. And this is a town of 40,000 people. And uh, in this co apartment complex that I live in, I'm probably the only Christian. And so, it's a, it's a fairly stark reality when you look around you and you realise that you're probably the only Christian and that this is the only church in this town. And so please, uh, I, I can re really encourage you to give um, and to pray, uh, to see mess, that they're, they're keen for the gospel to go into the world. And in order to do that, we need to be in fellowship and partnership together. And I appreciate uh, you being in partnership with me and therefore the gospel being able to... Um, be able to be here. So thank you. My time's up and uh, um, it's good to be able to talk with you. Thanks.